Hello students, Gate is PC Online Education welcomes you and today we are going to discuss about March 2019 Current Affair IES Spirit 2020 Special Edition and the questions from March 2019 already we have updated on our website. Just go to our website and just practice those questions on our GS community. Now, first current affair we are going to discuss Stars Scheme. Stars Scheme just launched on 28th Feb, and uh, you know, guys, 28th Feb is just known as your basically Science Day. On this Science Day, this science related scheme just launched by MHRD. Generally, your like higher studies scheme or like uh, your uh, research based schemes generally launched by your MHRD. That's why this Stars Scheme is also launched by MHRD. So, Stars stands for Scheme for Translational and Advanced Research in Science. Okay, so under this scheme, nearly 500 uh, science projects because of science day scheme so science projects are going to be selected and this science project like any institute like or any research scholars they are going to be uh, on the basis of competition basis nearly from all over the country 500 projects are going to be select and all cost bear by our mhrd okay they will fund all projects and who will coordinate this uh, all projects or like all competition or everything this is done by iisc okay indian institute of science bangalore so this is going to be our first current affair now second current affair, the RBI has constituted a panel under formal deputy governor Usa Thora to examine issue related to offshore rupees market. Okay. So one thing is there guys, first of all, you need to just understand one question here. Usa Thorat committee is just related to what? Sir, this question is very important. Usa Thorat committee is just related to what? Usa Thorat committee is just related to offshore rupees market. Okay. First question is just over. Second question, sir. What do you mean by offshore rupees market? Because of this is known as your basically economic term and for engineering services examination, these economic terms are going to be very important in January, in February, 2019 current affair videos. Also, I provided like very good explanation for all economic term because of engineering services like last two, three years, generally maximum current affair like or maximum two, three questions generally they ask from directly from basically economic terms okay that's why everywhere whenever just these economic terms will come i will try my be my best explanation okay so just try to understand offshore rupees market first question our sir usa throat committee just related to offshore rupees market second question sir what do you mean by offshore rupees market i need to suggest my every student okay we our government want to our government want to increase this rupees value internationally okay for example in america we are uh, whenever just we are going for businesses or like FDI investment generally we are talking about dollars okay but sir what happened government want to increase the value of rupees okay and uh, we want to just distribute this rupees value uh, internationally that's why government uh, putting this offshore rupees market okay so whenever you understanding the like this term or whenever you are taking this term offshore rupees market mean sir it is nothing like value of rupees outside indian territory okay this is like india sir outside the rupees value for example in america what do you mean what is the rupees value in uh, your sri lanka what is the rupees value okay so that is nothing basically your offshore rupees market and sir another term similarly like insure rupees market sir inside india rupees value okay two terms are there nothing is there okay offshore means sir outside what is the rupees value and very important third point here so first point you just understand this usa Thorat committee is just related to offshore rupees market what do you mean by offshore rupees market sir offshore rupees market means sir internationally rupees value third sir last year in 2018 okay uh, it may be in august or september I, I don't remember proper month but last year government launched masala bond third question okay masala bond masala bond is nothing sir masala bond is sold outside india but in indian rupees okay you know last current affair we have discussed like sir fdi okay like foreign direct investment like any foreign person they can just invest in india okay similarly from america like america is there and anyone want to invest this bond this is known as your masala bond. So internationally, anyone can buy these uh, bonds, but in the rupees, okay, you cannot uh, buy these bonds in dollar. You need to pay in rupees. For example, you are from Sri Lanka, you want to invest uh, uh, in India or you want to buy this masala bond, okay. Masala bond is a basically one type of investment only, but on the behalf of government of India. Means sir, in, in government of India or like in India, we want to invest, but in the form of rupees okay that's why this masala bond just launched last year but sir this masala bond is a very specific means sir rupees 
that's why all three terms are very important this year they can ask what do you mean by masala bond masala bond is nothing sir basically one type of bond but in indian rupees okay this is international bond in america you are going to buy in america you you are going to buy this uh, masala bond you need to pay in rupees not in dollars okay that's why we are going to increase the rupees value outside this uh, Indian territory. That's why all three things are very important. Offshore rupees market, Usa Thurot Committee and Masala Bond. Now third current affair, the Union Cabinet headed by Prime Minister Narendra Modi has approved rupees 1450 crore rupees for share capital of RBI in national housing banks. Okay, like NHB. So this RBI is just providing 1450 crore rupees to our NHB. Okay, so like all governmental schemes like national housing missions or like something is there. So this RBI is just providing 1450 crore rupees to NHB. Fourth current affair, CCEA approach phase second of FAME scheme. Under this scheme, government uh, given this 10,000 crore rupees to this FAME scheme. FAME is nothing sir, basically torture electrical vehicles or hybrid vehicles. You know guys, uh, this 2030, till 2030, nearly 40% vehicles are going to be electrical vehicle. So you can just expect in India also, we want to just adapt this technology, electrical vehicle technology because of we want to reduce our CO2 emission. We want to reduce pollution. That's why electrical vehicles are going to be very important for future. That's why government launched this FAME scheme. So first phase of this FAME scheme just our now government approved 10,000 crore rupees for second phase. So FAME scheme basically generally faster adoption and manufacturing of electrical and hybrid vehicles. So under this scheme, government is taking 10 lakh of two wheeler electrical vehicles, five lakhs of three wheeler, and 55,000 four wheelers electrical vehicles, and 7,000 electrical buses. Mm -hmm. Okay, so time to time you will just see like uh, every state is taking like uh, thousand electrical buses for public transports. So in future you will just see public transports are also going to be electrically. So under this uh, fame scheme, everything is just going to be happen, and second phase just already started. Now fifth current affair, CCEA approach Pradhan Mantri Jeevan Yojana. Okay, so this G1, very, very important word for your examination. I just put it three star here because of this scheme is going to be very, very important for your exam. Just try to understand properly. First of all, G1 stand for sir, Jeev Indan Vatavaran Ankul Fasal Auses Nivaran. Okay, so this scheme under Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas, very important point. Okay, so Jeevan scheme under the Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas. And this scheme just to reduce import dependence by way of substituting fossil fuels with biofuels. You know guys, January 2019 current affair. Okay, so we have already discussed. I am attaching this image especially and this is like 22nd current affair from January 2019. At that time, this three star important current affair, I just put it there. And this is known as your basically methanol blending. Okay, so methanol blending is nothing sir. With the petrol, we are going to mixing our this methanol and definitely guys, we are importing our petrol from another countries or like other countries. Uh, so it is going to be reduce our import cost as well as methanol whenever just we are mixing petrol with methanol it is going to reduce carbon dioxide emission that's why we are reducing our import cost as well as we are going to reduce our pollution because of co2 emission is going to be reduced okay and this all uh, everything just implemented by our niti io so everything like all related to this methanol blending we have discussed in our January 2019 current affair. That's why to implement this uh, this programs, methanol blending or like to implement biofuel policies, governments launch this G1 policy or like G1 scheme. So that's why guys, this uh, G1 Yojana is going to be very, very important for you. This methanol blending is going to be very, very important for you. So in future, everywhere you will just see these equations. What do you mean by methanol blending? What do you mean by this G1 Yojana? So everything just interrelated. That's why you just go through proper every month current affair. January 2019 current affair is also very important for your future current affairs february also same so that's why all current affairs are going to be linked you will just see january current affairs you will just see interlinked with future current affairs okay so this is like a basically your your jeevan uh, yojana now sir next current affair basically like this everything just we have discussed in our january 2019 what do you mean by methanol branding everything just you can just refer to uh, that uh, videos and notes now sir six current affair 
is index report and this is index report is just like published by PSB public sector banks okay so on the six themes they just publish this report on the basis of customer responsiveness on the basis of responsibly banking on the basis of credit of ratings okay basically credit of take means sir is of borrowers means how like easiness uh, with easiness uh, banks can provide loans on the basis of udyami mitra like for your uh, micro small mini enterprises okay what we are doing what how we are implementing his schemes six basically said digitalization fifth digitalization and sixth are ensuring outcomes okay so this each index is just published by psb and top bank for this psb is just pnb pnb is just top bank for like they are providing everything properly okay second number bank of baroda third number your sbi okay so each index report just published by psb and top pair pnb now seventh grand affair bhagwan lal seni appointed as chairman for national commission for backward classes ncbc okay national commission for backward classes okay like this commission is specially for backward classes and they just appointed bhagwan lal seni as a uh, chairman for this commission okay so this is like a basically constitutional body under 123rd amendment bill 2018 and uh, 102nd act okay so this is like a basically constitutional body in constitution they just set up this uh, national commission for backward classes this is special commission for working for backward classes and they appointed uh, chairman bhagwan lal seni now eighth current of national common mobility card this is known as your very important card this same card with single card you can just make payment on your metro you can payment on your railway you can payment on public parking you can payment on your like uh, uh, basically metro cards or like uh, toll plazas everywhere same card this card is just known as national common mobility card and this card is just launched by prime minister narendra modi okay so before what happen guys you need to just uh, create or like make uh, different different uh, cards for different different transportation okay but now only single card for every transportation or like every public transportation so this is going to be very good service ninth current affair iq air air visual 2018 world air quality report and this report is just published by greenpeace in association with iq air visual and this re report published on the basis of pm 2.5 they provide air quality report okay on the basis of pm 2.5 pm 2.5 is nothing sir basically it is the indicator of air pollution okay so pm 2.5 means sir particulate matter 2.5 everything like all uh, pm 2.5 pm 10 or like all air pollutants we have discussed in our environment subject so you can just refer those properly now sir this is the fact this report published and they are just they are just uh, telling a very important fact just see top 10 polluting cities out of top 10 seven from india out of top 30 cities pol most polluting cities 22 from india so guys this is the problem with india one side we need electricity one side we need more projects one side we need and uh, developed we need a proper like a transport okay but problem is sir our pollution is going to be increase this pollution is going to be increase now sir this is schemes this jeevan yojana we want to reduce our co2 emission this uh, methanol blending we are going to reduce our pollution this is a fame scheme you know this fame scheme where we have discussed this fame scheme this fame scheme we are using electrical vehicles we want to reduce our pollution everything is important why sir all schemes government is like making everything with plan because of our pollution levels are going to be increase day by day our pollution is increasing that's why we are impl implementing everything like electrical vehicle technology if we are using uh, methanol blending in future what is the main motto for everything to reduce pollution okay so this uh, this the report is suggesting and sir top 5 cities in pollution gurugram first to world top most uh, polluted country gurugram second gaziabad third faridabad fourth bhiwadi fifth from your faizalabad from pakistan okay so top five four from india and one from pakistan so this is the ninth current affair now 10th current affair pm strike identifies nine missions okay so this pm strike is nothing sir the prime minister science technology and innovation council pm strike and they identify nine major challenges for india first is sir natural language translation second quantum frontier third sir artificial intelligence fourth national biodiversity mission fifth sir electrical vehicle sixth bioscience for human health seventh waste management eighth deep ocean exploration and ninth agni okay so in future we have more challenges for these all nine departments okay that's why you know uh, government putting more focus on our quantum computing 
government putting more focus on our artificial intelligence that's why you just seen in many iits they already started this uh, engineering branches especially artificial intelligence okay so on the basis of these things uh, are going to be future challenge for india so this uh, pm strike identify nine missions so these nine missions are here now in current affairs the ministry of power has announced that two more electrical appliances will now assign with star rating okay and uh, also from this current affair i just put it one uh, very important uh, current affair question on our gs community okay so just go to gs community and check one question from this star rating okay so this star rating first of all i need to suggest uh, my every student what do you mean by star rating you know guys we have refrigerator we have air conditioners okay you just listen many time three star air condition five star air condition okay means sir as star rating increasing our like efficiency is going to be increased means uh, for example you are using three star air conditioner definitely it is going to be take more bill electricity bill if you are using five star rating uh, electricity appliances it is going to be take less bill okay but thing is that for five star equipments you need to pay more but these equipments will take less electricity bill okay so that's why like different uh, appliances already covered by this uh, bee bureau of energy efficiency this star rating just provided by this uh, special department and uh, now sir apart from like your ac from your refrigerators okay now sir microwave ovens washing machines also be also going to be provide this uh, star rating now in future you will see microwave also come in the form of like one star two star three star four star five star washing machines also same okay before what happen microwave sir you can just take anywhere or like any type of a microwave but now from uh, this uh, march you need to just take this microwave once with star rating so this all uh, star rating just provided by bee bureau of energy efficiency and one question is there just go there and practice that question now 12th current affair mission shakti pm modi announced that india successfully tested fired an anti satellite a set okay missile by shooting down live satellites okay so india is going to be fourth country after your us russia and china okay so this is going to be like very important current affair mission shakti is related to what a set now 13th current affair the indian economists who have been conferred with prestigious bodily medal and uh, this amritya sen and this award is just given by oxford uh, world famous library now for in current affair abel prize 2019 this abel prize is a basically known as nobel prize in mathematics and this year very important because of first time this abel prize given to or like a nobel in mathematics given to woman okay she from usa namely karen huelmbeck okay so this is going to be very important 15 current affair the former supreme court judge who have been chosen to be india's first lokpal okay so this justice pinaki chandra bose so this is going to be our first lokpal and you know guys in january 2019 current affair we have discussed 28 current affair where we have discussed sir this lokpal search committee holds its first meeting this committee is just headed by former supreme court judge ranjana prakash desai and this committee suggested name for lokpal so this name is just pinaki chandra bose okay so in january this uh, committee just uh, held first meeting and now in march they have suggested justice pinaki chandra ghos is going to be our first lokpal this is going to be very important name okay so who suggested this uh, name this from ranjana prakash desai committee and who is going to be first lokpal your justice pinaki chandra ghos both names are going to be very important one from january one from march current affair now 16 current affair human development report 2019 okay this soon this report is published by undp united nation development program but sir this year theme is going to be inequality okay on the basis of inequality this report is going to be published so this year this report provide a comprehensive picture of many forms of inequality that are shaping the 21st century okay now 17 current affair international energy agency iea published the global energy and co2 status report okay first point from this report china usa india together accounted for nearly 70% of rise in energy demand okay like these three countries required 70% in energy demand this year second sir this year 1.7% of co2 emission increase third sir india emitted 2000 299 million tons of co2 in 2018 and compared to last year 4.8% increase okay like totally sir 1.7% increase but this year 
by India 4.8 percent compared to last year. Okay, that's why this is the biggest problem, guys. This CO2 emission from India is going to be rising again and again, and this is the largest from all countries. Even this uh, compare with your China and America, we are uh, more emitting this CO2. So this report is from IEA. Now, 18 current affair multidimensional poverty index. This report prepared by United Nations Development Program and Oxford Poverty and Human Development. So, from this report, for India, reduced its poverty rate drastically from 55% to 28% in 10 years. Okay, like 2005 to 2015, uh, India just reduced its poverty from 55% to 28%, and this is biggest change. Second, sir, the four poorest state in India, Bihar, Jharkhand, UP, and MP. So this is like only important point from this uh, multidimensional poverty index 2018. Okay, so now these current updates are going to be complete from March 2018. Just go to our GS community, try to solve and understand and read every point from provided quiz and questions are there. Okay, so just go there on our website and just try to read all questions and notes for this uh, proper PDF, everything just I am uh, attaching in the description of this video. Just go there, download there, read proper one time. Last uh, month current affairs also just uh, go one time reading because of uh, once you just go day by day reading like uh, every month you are reading one time, definitely you will get understand every point. Everything from current affair is going to be repeating in manner and uh, in future also whenever like things are repeating, definitely those coins, those uh, points are going to be very important for your exam. So thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you.